Good morning. Um, welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday, presented by Delta Media Group, where we realize that the one true solution to taking two strokes off your golf game is to focus all efforts on your follow through. So today, you can see we're getting a little bit of a late start today. We had uh, numerous technical issues. That's just, that's the morning we're having. But I think everything's going to go smoothly from here on out. I'm, I'm optimistic. Always, always going with that optimism. So <laughs> uh, today, we're going to take a look at, or rather another look at, Facebook Auto Connector. Um, the Facebook Auto Connector stuff, uh, we are kind of continually evolving it and, you know, adding new things to it, adding new functionality to it just based on feedback. So, you know, every time you go in and use it, if you see something that you think would make it better, let us know because that's kind of how we operate, especially when it comes to Facebook Auto Connector. So we've made some updates, so we thought we'd go over it again. So let's jump into the Delta Net, take a look. All right, so if I scroll down here to Facebook and then go to Post Tools, that will take me into Facebook Auto Connector. Now the first thing you'll typically see on this page, if you've never been here before, is there'll just be a blue button here that says sign in. Um, let me see if I can show it to you. Why not? We'll go into another account here. Here we are, Facebook, Post Tools, and I have this one hooked up too, so we'll unhook it. So you can see, when you're not hooked up to a Facebook account, when you go to this page you'll have a sign in with Facebook button. When you click that button, the system will um, basically communicate with Facebook and pop open a login window. And then you log into your Facebook account and then just follow through the process to basically grant Facebook Auto Connector permissions to post to whatever pages that you have access to post to. Um, if you are already logged into a Facebook account in this browser, even if it's in another tab or another window, this will pick it up so that when you click on it, you'll already be logged in and it'll just have you run through that permissions process. Um, so that's something worth keeping in mind. If you are an admin, for example, and you go in and you're trying to set someone else up for Facebook Auto Connector, or trying to set up an agent, or you know if you're you know office staff and you're trying to go in and uh, set up an agent's Facebook Auto Connector for them, make sure that you're not logged into your own Facebook account before clicking that button. Because if you are, you'll be attaching your Facebook account to their Delta Net, and then Facebook Auto Connector will start posting their listings to your Facebook page. So it's worth keeping in mind. <laughs> All right, so once you've gone through that process and you've signed in, we'll go down here and take a look at the other account. Facebook post tools. Watch me be signed out here now, too. Nope, I'm still in. Good. <laughs> All right, so once you're signed in, uh, the page will refresh automatically, and you'll be able to see this screen. So from here, you can go through, first of all, all of the pages that you have post access to. So where it says business pages up here, if we click on that, it'll list out all of the business pages that you have granted Facebook Auto Connector permission to post to. Um, if you just went through and clicked next on that permissions process and just kind of you know let it do its thing, then every page that you have post access to should be in this list. Um, now what will not be in that list and what you cannot post to automatically with Facebook Auto Connector is your personal page. Facebook just no longer allows that, so we can only post to Facebook business pages. If you don't have a Facebook business page or if you didn't grant the system access to post to one, this screen will just say that. It'll say um, you, know, you must have a Facebook business page or post access to a Facebook business page in order to use this tool. So, so you'll know if it doesn't pick one up. Um, now what we've run into before is if you do have a Facebook business page and you set this up but it doesn't show up in this list here or you don't have access to it, um, there is a way to fix that or a way to get around that. And at this point, I would just say contact support here, and, um, and we'll walk you through how to do that. So for now, um, you'll choose your Facebook business page that you want to control the post settings for. And keep in mind that you can control each of those pages individually, so you can have different post settings for different Facebook pages. Um, you, know, you could post new listings to one and open houses to the other, um, or really any combination of things based on what you can post here. So keep that in mind. Now, as we scroll down, we can see all of the different types of posts that the system can make. So number one is new listings. Uh, to turn it on, I would just click on, <laughs> and then it'll start posting just my own listings. Um, it'll post based on the frequency here. Now this will be unlimited by default, and what that means is um, basically the system runs throughout the day, and anytime a new listing comes in, it'll auto-post that to your Facebook page. With frequency set on unlimited, it'll keep checking all day and keep posting listings as long as you keep getting new ones. Now, if you set this down to say three per day, 
if you got four new listings added to the system in a day, it would post three that day and then queue up the next one and post it the next day. So it just um, sets a limit on the maximum number of new listings posts that the system will make in a day. Um, now you can also set it to manually post and this exists, you know, this frequency setting exists for all of the different types of posts. So we'll go through all the different types of posts, but all of them have the same functionality here. Um, except for one, but I'll get into that. So for manually post, what it'll do is anytime it picks up a new listing, it will kind of queue that listing up and put it in a menu under this manual post page. Now, if you have a bunch queued up there, so we'll click on create a manual post. So anything that you have set to manual post will queue up on this page and be selectable with this drop down menu. Now you can see that I don't have any right now, but if I did have some, I would click here and they would all show up in the drop down and that allows me to go in and choose a post that the system would have posted on my behalf but didn't because I have it set to manual. And then I can add some images to it if I want and then go down here and type in the content for the post. So, you know, if you want to use it this way, it gives you more control over the posts that you make. So it's no longer automated, the system won't post for you, but it does aggregate all of your, you know, it could be all of your open house posts, your blog posts, um, customer views, my customer for life, new listings, sold listings, all of that would collect here so that you can then go in in one place and make all of those posts whenever you want to. So that's kind of the cool thing about this feature. It just puts everything in one spot so that even if you want to control your Facebook posts manually when it you know, relates to things that come from the system, um, you can still do that. So that's pretty cool. Also, you can use emojis in here. How cool is that, right? <laughs> so you can set up your posts that way. Uh, all right, so we'll go back to Facebook and post tools, get back to the, uh, the first page here. So that is how manually post works. Now, you also have an option to delete posts. Um, I think we covered that in our last video about Facebook Auto Connector, but that is also still a recent thing. The idea here is that, say, you're making open house posts automatically. You, know, you can let those stick around for, say, 30 days and then have them deleted from your page. And that way they don't kind of continually clutter up your Facebook business page. So um, for new listings posts, I mean, you can decide if you ever want to delete those. But it just depends on kind of your, your social marketing strategy as to whether or not it makes sense to have the system delete those for you. But the point is, the system can do that. So right now it's set as 10 days. So over here we're set as days, value 10. So that means after 10 days, it's going to automatically delete my new listings post from Facebook. If I set, the, you know, and I can set this to whatever I want. So if I wanted to go out to a month or a quarter, I could say keep it for one quarter or two quarters. Um, you know, keep it for a year before you delete it. So I have a lot of flexibility in how I can control that. Or you know, 10 years. <laughs> um, so a lot of options there. Uh, next, I can choose from the post template. So when I'm letting the automated system post for me the text that goes along with the post is going to look like this. That is the post template. I can choose from additional post templates if I've created any. Um, some of these I think have been our preset ones, so you can choose from those. Or if you'd like to create a new template that you use for all those posts, you can click on edit. And then over here I can edit the one that I'm on or I can go down to create new template. And then I can just type out what I, temp what I want my text to look like that goes along with these posts. And then anywhere where I want to use the street address, I can put this in and it will automatically fill with the street address for the listing that it's posting. And the same goes for everything else here. Um, you know, that way it picks up that information automatically because it's going to be posting for different listings. So if I set that up, I would then click on save template and then that template would appear as one of my options in here. Now the next thing you can do with a new listings post is up here we have open filter settings. Now this is the thing that we've added, not necessarily to new listings, but we've added this um, to all the posting types. So now if I click on open filter settings, it opens up here and you see that I can filter by location, price, um, I can even filter by listing agent or office if that's being allowed by, by my company because that's something that can be turned off in a company level setting. But this allows me to choose what listings this will post. So by default it's going to post all of my listings. If I want to post another agent's listings too, I can put their name in here and you can see the autocompleter comes up and then I can select someone else and it'll post their listings too. Now the other thing I can do is I can say, um, you know, say I have a Facebook business page that's just for residential and another one for commercial. I could have just residential posts on this, this one and then for my Facebook page settings for new listings for my other business page, I could go in here and set this to just commercial so it'll only post my commercial listings. So that's the kind of flexibility that you have in here as far as choosing what new listings the system will post for you. 
Um, and then you can also break it down by location. So you know you could even have different business pages for different locations or different markets. You could um, use this to decide which markets you want to make posts for, or just choose you know maybe only over a certain price value you want to post the new listings for. But that is what all this does. So to do that, I would just set everything up and click Save Filter, and that would save two or four new listings posts. So we'll close out of that. Now the next thing we have is Open Houses, which works exactly the same way. And it now also includes those same filter settings. So I could only post open houses for specific kinds of listings if I wanted to, or additional listings. Um, the only additional option that I have here is post open houses for my listings even if I'm not the listing agent. So what the system is looking for without that box checked is it's looking at the open house in our system or in our database. And basically, it's looking at who the hosting agent is going to be. Um, if we don't get hosting agent data when we pull in that uh, open house from your MLS, then it'll fill in with you as the listing agent automatically, so it'll pick that up. Um, otherwise, if we are getting the hosting agent and you're not hosting some of your own open houses, but you want them to post anyway, you would check this box and then it will post for your listings, all of your listings, <laughs> in addition to any that you're hosting that might not be yours. Um, so that is the open house, our new open house connector settings. We'll go down to open house, new open house Facebook connector settings. I was going to get there. Uh, the next one is coming soon listings. So this picks up specifically listings that come on the market with a coming soon status. So I guess they're not technically on the market, but come into the system with a coming soon status. Um, other than that, it all works the same. And again, I have this filter settings button that allows me to um, break that down to more specific coming soons if I want. Next, I have new or updated listing videos. So again, this works exactly the same, but this is only looking for listings with either a new video that gets attached to them uh, through the Delta Net or um, if the video has been updated. So you can go into the listings and you can add a video or update a video to those manually, but if you're set up with um, properties in motion, that system will automatically add in new videos. This will pick up when a new video is added and then repost that listing to the Facebook page and say, hey, I added a new video or, well, specifically, I'm happy to share that I have a new listing ad. So that's how this one is working. <laughs> but you can change that template up if you want also. Uh, price reductions. So if there's a price reduction on a listing, it'll pick up any with a recent price reduction and post those. Other than that, works exactly the same. Also has those filter settings. New sold listings, again, works exactly the same way, only this one is picking up um, when a listing is sold and we pick up that sold data from the MLS when we add that listing to our system. This will pick it up and post that and say, down here what the template says, recently sold, take a look at what I sold, address and city. Um, again, other than that, works exactly the same. The next it will do is blog articles. So this will pick up any blog article that is um, added to your blog. So if you have the blog system set up, up here under um, marketing and blog, and you have that whole platform set up and you're adding articles to it, every time you add an article, the system will pick it up and post that article over to your Facebook page. Um, Everything else here works the same. Now also, if you have your blog set up to receive company blogs and the company is writing blogs that they're kind of uh, sharing with all the agents, it can pick those up also. So the company will write an article, add it to their blog, that blog is, or that article is shared with your blog and treated as if it was written on your blog. So then that will also share to Facebook. And if anybody clicks the link, it links back to your blog um, as opposed to linking all the way back to the company blog. Uh, next in line is MCFL articles. This is the only one that is particularly special as far as the post frequency goes. Um, everything else here is the same and you can see that the things that don't pertain to listings don't have the listing filters. Um, but MCFL articles, every Thursday we write new My Customer for Life articles and we add those to the system. What this will do is pick up when those articles are added and post them to your Facebook page. So that part is simple enough. Um, now as far as the post frequency goes, because we add those articles on Thursday, if you leave this on unlimited, it will post all the articles that we posted on Thursday. So it will just pipe all the articles that we added through to your Facebook page. Now this additional post day functionality allows you to limit that and then define what days they post. So if I put a post limit of one per day, that's the most it'll post in a day. We'll add three new articles on Thursday. So it'll post up to the limit on Thursday. Limit's one, so it'll post one article on Thursday. And it'll hold the other two in queue. Friday, it'll post the next one. Saturday, it'll post the next one. So each day that's checked down here is the day that it will post new articles up to the limit. So if I were to set this to two per day, then Thursday, it would post two articles. 
and then Friday it would post the last article that was queued up, and then Saturday it wouldn't post anything. Um, but if I wanted to do like a you know Thursday and Monday, so it'll post two on Thursday, and then it would post that last queued up article on Monday, and then the following Thursday we add new articles and it does it all again. So that is how that is set to work. Um, and again, like all the other post features, you know you can go and delete posts after a time, or you know change up that frequency, or change up the uh, the template that goes along with those, however you'd like. Next, we have customer reviews. Works exactly the same way, only this is posting um, new reviews that you've added to the system. So if you go in and add a review under our customer reviews platform, this will pick it up and post those. Uh, customer reviews can also be found under marketing. So if I go up to marketing, this page is getting along. There we go, marketing. If I went to reviews, that is where all the review system stuff is. So if I add a new one in manually, um, it really picks it up when I approve it. So if I add a new one manually, and approve that one, or if one comes in from my website because a customer submitted it and I go in and approve it, it will pick it up after it's approved and post it. Uh, next is Market Watch. Uh, what this is doing is you create market watches specifically for social media sharing, and this system will pick those up and on whatever interval they're set to and then automatically post those to the Facebook page. Other than that, everything else here works the same. So um, the articles regenerate on an interval and then they will post up to whatever. So if you set, say, you know, three different market watches, you create them all on the same day and set them all to monthly, they're all going to try to post at the same time every month because they're all getting regenerated at the same time. So you have some control over how often those are regenerated and then that same um, daily post frequency limit that um, you have with all the other systems. And then next, the system can post pre-announced listings to your Facebook page. So if you set up a pre-announced listing through the, um, the pre-announced listing settings, this can automatically post those also. All the settings for this, again, are the same. Um, this one, the listing, is not actually in the system. And I think we just had a recent video where we went over the, uh, the pre-announced pre listings also um, a couple weeks ago. So you can look at that to get more details on how that system works. But basically, it's found up here under listings, I believe. Yep, listings and then pre-announced exclusive. So if you used that system to create a listing, Facebook Auto Connector could pick that up and automatically post those as well. Um, other than that, all the settings here are the same. And this one, because it is listing based, has the filter settings button again. And that is it. That is Facebook Auto Connector. Um, like I said, I'd like to do another video on it because the system's kind of getting bigger and bigger. And we've adding, we're adding more and more to it. And in this case, we added that open filter settings for all of the listing based posts. So, um, so now you have a lot of options and a lot of control over what gets posted to your Facebook page but you can still kind of retain that automation there so that you know, you're not having to go in every time you have a new listing and post it. You can just let the system handle it for you once you go in and set this up one time. So there you have it, as always. Thanks a lot for joining me this week. Um, I don't know how long we went in that one. It felt like we went all along. <laughs> but ah, we're all right. We're all right. You learned a lot, right? I'm going to think that you learned a lot. <laughs> so thanks a lot for joining me this week. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, as always, feel free to give us a call or send an email into support at deltagroup.com um, or comment on any of our videos on Facebook or YouTube, and we will be happy to uh, give you the answers you need. So thanks a lot for joining me, and I will see you next week.